Okay, everybody's always going, how come you never video your stuff and show us how you do it? All right, here you go. Got the white on there. Got the medium on here. Got the dark on here. So now we just blend all three of them together. Okay, so I'll screw it up. We'll see. Uh, let's just do it with a fan brush and be done with it. Blend your dark to your medium. Come back and clean the edges up later. Dark to the medium. Don't go in your white yet. Get that nice and blended. This is a second coat. It will need a third. Rinse that off. Now we're just gonna go, we're gonna blend the white into the medium. And vice versa. I haven't worked with a fan brush like this in a long time. So you just stay immediately right up against the edge the first go round. Just want to get that soft edge in there. Yeah, see, that agrees. And same thing here. Just a little bit like that. I'll come back and clean this face up too in a minute. And now that you got that kind of set in there, then you can just kind of blend your medium on into your light. If you don't want that white to stay white, you want it to dumb down to just be a lighter tone of alizarin crimson. It took me years to be able to say that correctly. Like, was it Alzerian? Crimson? Was it Clemson? I don't know. I just couldn't get it for some reason. Now I'll come down here and do the same thing. Pull that dark into here because it's pretty much set now. So you're really not going to screw it up at this point. And normally I'd go to another video to show you how to clean this up, but I might as well do it all at the same time. So I'm going to come back over and put another coat on top of this anyway. So everything you see here is going to get completely covered up again. So don't stress or panic at this point because you can't really screw it up yet. You can create more work for yourself, but you really can't screw it up. And there's your second coat of that. A little not light enough here, a little dark there, so we'll correct that when we come in with our third coat. A little rounding movement right there. Keep that like it does. That needs to fade a little more right there. But once again, anything you don't get right now, you'll get it come back on the third coat. You'll get to clean it up then. Yeah, still a little too dark right there on the edge, but now you can dip it in the drink and just have your brush suck some of it off of there if you'd like. A couple different ways to do that, but then what you do is you dip your brush in your drink and you just come right up to the edge and you just use it like an eraser. I remember showing one of my students this one time 
And she looked up, crossed her arms, and said, you can do that? And I was like, yep. No more taking the rag and trying to wipe it off and not smear it all over the rest of your painting. This is a whole lot more effective. And like I said, his face is going to get another coat of paint anyway, so we got to come back in and put the shadow up against this mask. But this is a whole lot easier than trying to take that rag. And clean all of this up. The birds are awful loud today. I'm starting to feel like Bob Ross. I haven't had a happy little accident yet, though. There's still time. Hard doing this from an angle where y'all can still see it. Because normally I would flip this upside down and put it in my lap to clean this up. Are no rules except the ones you set for yourself. Now I got that little bit right there. You wipe that off. I'm going to clean that background up later anyway. So, And there you have it.